Time now for our rants and raves, starting with Kelly, actually, tonight. Okay, so um, I have a rave for BuzzFeed and the reporting that they did following up on what seems simple, which is the disparate way that the tabloids handle Meghan and Kate. Um, lots of people said it. They went back to the exact publications, the Daily Mail, the Express, the Mirror, and, and did side-by-side -side headlines. So we're going to look at one, and this is one when they said, Pregnant Kate tenderly cradles her baby bump <laughs> while wrapping up her royal duties. Now contrast that to the Meghan Markle headline, which says, Why can't and Meghan Markle keep her hands off her bump. Experts well, tackled the question that it's got outward. the nation talking. Uh, this is the kind of thing that drives me crazy. I talk about it all the time here. It happens. It's difficult for people to see. They have 20 examples that are yeah, about the exact yeah. same topic. Please read it. Please it see it. And Kelly. it is really good. Yeah, yeah. really good. Yeah. Adam. I have a rave for a New Yorker piece that's in the current issue by a woman named Elizabeth Flock, who I think has worked for the News Hour and other places. It is a really troubling look at this uh, case of this woman, Brittany Smith, who is an uh, Alabama woman who shot and killed a man who had raped her, she says, and then was on the verge of killing her and her brother. The evidence is overwhelmingly on her side, and yet there's a chance she might spend the rest of her life in prison. The piece talks about her story, but also gets at this bigger national problem. Women who defend themselves yes. in situations like this are treated very differently by the law than men who do. It's a really troubling read. Uh, nightmarish stuff, but worth checking out. Mm, wow, mm. sounds good. Dan. Dan Ken sorry, Dan Lothian. Okay, well, I, well, I, I have a rant for proposed legislation in New Hampshire that would require uh, news organizations when covering criminal stories uh, to correct uh, or update their online versions of those stories if uh, someone is acquitted or if charges mm. are dropped. Mm. And, you know, first of all, there, there are a lot of um, different standards across the country, but most news organizations, if someone, they have different yeah. things in place. If someone is complaining about it, they'll look at it and review it and say, yeah, we will go back and update, you know, our archives uh, online. But this is not something that I think should be mandated through yeah, legislation. No. And, and there are a lot of journalists saying, that, you know, this is unconstitutional. We're not good at follow-up, though, and if That's I imagine true. being in that kind of situation, yeah. and I was cleared, I'd want people to know that. Yeah, right. it's true. But then you spend all your time, you know, clearing that up, well, and maybe you can't you report. <laughs> <laughs> Dan Kennedy. Early contender for WGBH Muzzle Award, by the way. Uh, I have a rant for the United States Senate, uh, which has imposed what Roll yes. Call has referred to as an unprecedented crackdown on the press in covering uh, the impeachment trial. The reporters and photographers are going to be restricted to this second floor pen. They can go in and out, but they can't go anywhere else. They can't mix with the senators at all. Uh, some people are saying, well, there were restrictions when Clinton was impeached, too. These go well beyond that. Uh, they are treating the press as though they were going to... Yeah break into a riot or something. And uh, it's un allegedly a security issue? Yeah, it's yeah, a security right. issue. Sounds it's like the mass stages. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? All right, well, finally tonight, I have a, a rave for CNN's Manu Raju and a rant for Senator Martha Mc McSally of Arizona. Yes. So uh, Manu was doing his job, asking questions in the hallway when the sen she's a senator from Arizona, took John McCain's place, and he asked her, should should something more come forward now that there's new information in the impeachment, uh, impeachment right, proceedings? Right. And this is what happened in the hallway. Hey, Governor Sally, I decided to consider new evidence as part of the impeachment trial. You're not going to comment? Governor Sally, I decided to consider new evidence as part of the impeachment trial. You're not going to comment? We played that ju twice just so you could get the, uh, the nuance of it. So she just flips him off, says, you're a liberal hack. And this is the kind of language that is promoted by the President of the United States, and she felt confident in saying that. He was just doing his job. He was asking a, a very legitimate, basic question, and that's the response. It's it it happens, and maybe it's not that big a deal, but she's gone around and taken a victory lap yeah. over yeah. it. Yeah. She's right. showed up on these interview shows. I guess I showed him. Well, on Fox, specifically. Yeah. 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 It works. It's, it, everybody yeah. realizes that you can use that than... as the escape hatch. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I, I also think it's important to say he's not a liberal hack. Yeah, right. I no. mean, he's a guy doing his job, and yeah. there are more people to stand All up right. for him. Amen. That is it.